the next thing I want to do is show you guys how I start off a painting with a model and I thought I would draft this girl. <laughs> And I have to admit, this is how it comes upon me too. Boom, all of a sudden, oh, that's it, I gotta catch it quick. So I have to run go get a stretcher. This is the universe and I am God. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, look at him. See, I told you. Wow. Okay, so first of all, I'm just sort of marking out where I want things and thinking about you know, what, I know I want to do this this uh, yellow and red, I mean yellow and gray kind of a study here. So that, that's all going to be yellow. So I know this is all going to be yellow. And then I'm going to have this, some shape here like this. And scribbling. Scribbling is good. Scribbling is good, right? You have very capable looking hands. <laughs> do, you gar do you garden? Do what do you do with your hands? I heal. Oh, oh. 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 you walk that one. Oh. <laughs> very good. Yeah, you're a lot you're actually you're a lot of fun to draw. Look at these nice rounded her hair goes nicely like that. Huh? She's looking at me like, you are the <laughs> biggest trouble. Oh my God. And what color are they? It's kind of bluish gray? Uh, blue gray. Bluish gray. gray. Mm -hmm. Very good. Okay. That's an important thing, y'all, because what that's telling me is what the color that I'm going to make this painting all around. I'm going to make the color and I do this as one of my little tricks of the trade, because color is my weak point. I can never decide what color to make things. But she has really beautiful, they look kind of turquoise to me. They've got eyes. a lot of green in. Yeah. yeah. See, so I can see this with kind of a turquoise, smoky blue background with these brilliant yellow, I mean, they really are brilliant yellow uh, roses over there. This white, this black, can you see that? You know, this black form, and then she's got a black form here, and then all this is kind of gray, and uh, oh, there's some earrings in there too. <laughs> so, there you go. So, uh, voila. <laughs> yeah. start and in truth if I were really going to progress with this what would happen to this surface is uh, the whole thing gets scrubbed down and then the whole canvas gets covered with a wash because I, I really don't like the white the white really bugs me so I take the wash away the background and all that away with with um, a tone and the, and it would be see turquoise you know about the turquoise don't you this little thing is turquoise uh, and I would make this, the background, this sort of turquoisey green. The other thing that works, with, and you guys who are studying and uh, painting know that if you take flesh tones and, and vermilions and lay them on top of blues and greens, it creates that nice contrast of color, which, which really um, invigorates and vitalizes a painting. So. We have work to do on this, but I think I think it's a good Can start. I pick? Oh yes. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I know not, not much yeah. to look at quite yet. No, it's it's nice. But you know, we we can work on this. We can work on this. Okay, so I've been doing a lot of talking. Any questions? Y'all want to talk about things? You want to tell me about what you're working on? <laughs> so how long um, you've started and yes. and. As you say, the, that blank canvas is one of the biggest obstacles. Yeah. And so now that you've got the composition set, then um, how long would you envision one of these pieces taking to complete? 
And how much do you have preconceived versus uh, kind of uh, get inspired as you go? Well, let's just talk about this composition. What I definitely have very preconceived in my mind are, is the color. I really like the idea of the black form, the white form, the yellow form, and the figure in neutral, warm, soft grays. And, and I think that would make a really, so I, I definitely want to settle on those colors. And, and I rather like the composition. I like the way the, the chair shapes here, and this angle up there will correspond to an angle that I'd make on the table down here, because as all of you painters know, repeating forms creates a nice rhythm in a painting, in a composition. So I, I, would, I would definitely continue with that. And, uh, and then how yeah. long to, to um, before it's complete? So you've got some examples here of beautiful pieces you've done. I hate that question. Don't you all hate that question? Is, is it <laughs> something? As long as it takes. Is it, yeah, so and, you know, and it, how much variation is there? Well, so. it, it would, um, first of all, it would take me a day to get the drawing right. Because mm -hmm. I know me, it would get erased 10 times and drawn 10 times. That I know. Um, then after that, you you block in, you do what's called blocking, and you just block in the areas. Uh, sometimes um, I'll just start out doing a positive and negative, or a negative space, positive space, uh, compositional structuring, whereas I just make sure that the whole thing is going to move and balance nicely with positive and negative space. Um, and then that has to set up and dry, and then go back in and start start blocking in some of the detail. So time-wise, you know, if I work on a painting every single day, it would take about two weeks to do it. But I have to be honest, I let it sit, it has to dry, in the meantime I would go and work on something else, and then I'd come back to it. So usually, it, it, I, I allow at least a month to work on a painting this size. That one took three months, which is pretty quick. Are you I'm, using oil or acrylic? Oil. Oh. oil. Yeah, I work in oil. Oh, yeah. Wow. I, I don't. I have. I can't work with acrylic. I, I don't like the way it smells, and it dries too fast. Or it something. doesn't blend the same. That's. Yeah, it's not. The, it's just not the same.